Hi guys, this is Aiden Toy Trove. I just unloaded a bunch of briars from a box. Um, there's actually some Peter Stones too. So these guys are headed to the kitchen sink to get washed. I just use hot water and some mild dish soap. This one is a uh, glossy Bay Pinto Marabella. I don't remember her name. Her full is probably still in the box because I don't see it right here. I think it's the bright yellow um, Palomino Pinto, maybe? This is the vintage Shetland Pony. He's really cute. He almost looks chalky, but I don't think he is. This is the old Diablo semi-rearing Mustang. He is in played with condition uh, and he's kind of dirty, but I think he'll clean up nice. This guy will be um, headed to Briar West. We'll have a nice selection of vintage models there. Um, there were a bunch of cute foals in the box. One of these is, I think the Christmas Full, who's in a cute little set um, with some Christmas accessories. And I think this one right here is Dakota. They look like they share, well, a similar Pinto pattern, not the same Pinto pattern. Um, I'm really bad with Peter Stones. This one's a Peter Stone Arabian Full. It's this pretty glossy buttermilk buckskin. If you guys want to chime in if you know who it is, because um, I'm not familiar with Peter Stones. She doesn't have a signature, so... Uh, I'll assume maybe she's a regular run, although I know Stone doesn't have a lot of regular runs, and regular runs are kind of rare. There's also, I think, now that I think about it, I'm thinking that the standing um, Peter Stone weanlings were Halloween special runs. This one's a pretty kind of pearly gray or grulia pinto. The um, gray color has a nice metallic sheen to it, and uh, um, the white almost looks pearly. Uh, she's a little dirty, so get her cleaned up, see how she looks after that. But, oh, that almost looks like a pumpkin on the bottom. I'm betting these are the Halloween special runs. Yeah, they've got to be. Cute little foal. This is the other Peter Stone foal right here. This one's kind of a pretty bright orange bay who might actually be a decorator. Um, there's that jack-o'-lantern on the bottom. That's awesome. Love it. Um, this one's a glossy. And then we have... Um, Palomino Amber. I always get poor Amber and Ashley mixed up and I finally figured out um, Ashley is the laying foal and Amber is the standing foal. I bet the foal is still in the box because I didn't take them all out. This is um, Brookside Pink Magnum, the bouncer mold in this um, kind of interesting strawberry roan color. I'm not sure I'm so wild about it but you know he could be kind of pretty. I don't know. We'll see little pink for my taste. And there is, I believe this is a regular run Hayflinger pony that was sculpted by a Bridget Eberroll. Pretty cute. Duchess. Duchess was just kind of hanging out in that box. I don't know if the rest of the family, the Black Beauty family is in there as well. Um, she's cute. She will be coming to Briar West or he will be coming to Briar West looking for a new home. There is this, um, I think this is Tiki. Uh, glossy Bay Pinto Marabella. It's got this bright, rich, kind of purple undertone to her coat. She's really pretty. She was a Briar Fest tent special run, I believe. And then there is a glossy black Pinto Shetland Pony. This looks like one of the older ones. She's got um, nice old shading on his face and also looks like he was part of a carpet herd. So this one will be at Briar West as well. And this shows um, the brand on the underbelly that you sometimes see on the Shetland Pony. Kind of interesting how the um, brands vary through the years. And I think the only other one that I haven't shown you is Creamsicle. Who is the Clydesdale Full Mold in this really pretty Palomino Pinto. This guy's really popular. Um, and I can see why. Because he's super pretty. Ooh, so pretty. I think that's everyone um, that I have pulled out for the moment. I didn't want to go uh, with more than a towel full since I just like kind of stand them to dry. And yes, this is my kitchen sink and uh, hopefully this gets cleaned up before hubby gets home so <laughs> he doesn't say, hi, I can't use the kitchen counter for kitchen things. This one's really pretty. And again, uh, looking for IDs on those Peter Stones. If you have them, please holler. Thanks for watching.